Hi, I'm Chris from Simul, and today we'll be covering setting up TrueSky within the Unity engine. I'm going to be using the latest Unity download as of April 7th, and I will be installing the 4.2a build using a standard render pipeline, not the high definition render pipeline. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download the plugin from Simul.co. So navigate yourself over to the website, and then there is a downloads button at the top of the page. From here, you're going to need to scroll down to the Unity section and then select the relevant build for what you're using. So in this case, we'll be doing the 2019 version and this will be the latest build. Once we have the plugin downloaded, make sure that you have Unity open and then locate where you saved your plugin, which in my case was in the general downloads folder. Um, just double click it and as you can see, it will start decompressing the plugin and packages in the Unity engine. It may take a few minutes, so bear with it while it sorts itself out. Once that completes, you will be moved over to a import Unity package page. One of the things that we do need to do here is to make sure that everything is ticked as we're gonna to want to bring in everything that we can that we're supplying within the plugin. Just quickly scroll down, ensure that everything is ticked. And once that has been checked, hit the import button, which should not take too long as well. Perfect. Once that completes, everything you need will be within your Unity project file. Now we're going to want to introduce TrueSky into the scene. And in order to initialize, we're going to head on over to the game object button at the top of the screen. And on the bottom, you will now have an initialized true sky in scene. And if we go ahead and click that, we will get prompted with the initialize wizard. And for that, the first thing it will ask us to do is to choose the scene, which will be the scene that we're currently in. So we hit next. It will then ask us what sequence we want to add to the scene. And if we are new, we will only have the presets available to us. So click the little circle icon. And as you can see, there are a few available. I'm going to go ahead and use this Stratocumulus and then click next. True Sky will need to take over your camera slightly. All that this is going to do is add a few scripts to it which will allow you to control the render targets that we're using as well as exposure and gamma settings. It will also create the True Sky game object which will just automatically be placed in the scene and allow you to have the controls to use TrueSky. And it will take control of our directional light as well, just so that as we move time of day, the directional light will move as expected. And then the final screen here will remove the standard distance fog and the default skybox. The default skybox just won't interact very well with our volumetric clouds. And we have our own fogs built into TrueSky, so you do not need the standard distance fog. And this final button here, launch documentation, will take you straight to the Unity documentation that we have written up. So once we've done all that, hit finish. And you'll see that things will get created within your scene. And if you have the game window visible, which I'd advise that you do, you can then see that some clouds have been added. Now TrueSky is active within the scene, I'll direct you to where to input your username and license key. And so we can start modifying your scene and your skies. So we're going to head over to the true sky game object which we created and then within sequence asset if we just click on the name it will take us directly to where our sequences are being held so in this case it will take me to the presets as i do not have any previously made assets and then if we just click on any of the sequence assets here and press show sequencer on the first time opening up the sequencer it may take a few seconds just to configure itself but it's nothing to worry about if things seem to slow down for a few seconds. Once your sequencer has opened, it will be slightly faded out gray on some areas. This is nothing to worry about. This is just letting us know that you have not got an active license. And so for us to activate our licenses, we're going to need to put in our username, as you see here, and your license key which can be obtained by going to simul.co and heading to your account section, which is at the top of the page near the download section we visited earlier. 
And then once we have gathered our license key, just input it into the key box and we should be good to go. And I want to do that now. Once we enter our license key, as you just saw, the light gray box will become black. And if you were to click on one of the keyframes, you should be able to edit the values now, as well as at the top of your registration section, it will tell you that your license is now active. Now that we've finished with everything to do with licenses, if we press registration, it will just hide that section for us. And that will mean that we have more space to work with TrueSky. If you have looked into any of our other tutorials or any of our other video updates, you will probably recognize this layout as it is extremely similar and almost identical to our Unreal version of the plugin. And we tried to keep them as similar as possible. And so generally anything that you see us do a tutorial for, if there is an Unreal version, it will probably work within the Unity version itself. However, now we have TrueSky working within Unity. If we were to want to create our own sequences, it would be as simple as going down to the content browser at the bottom, right clicking and within the create section, there will be a TrueSky sequence added to the bottom. If you just click that, it will create the new sequence and we can add that to the TrueSky game object by going to the little circle button on the edge of the sequence asset and then selecting the new sequence, which in this case was just new simul sequence. If we open it up, your scene will appear blank. This is because when you create a new sequence, there is no cloud layer or cloud keyframe for it to reference. So it will just bring in the atmosphere on the sky layer. To amend this, just right click, add cloud layer and right click, add cloud keyframe and then alter the cloudiness as you see fit. You can also change settings that affect TrueSky within the TrueSky game object. Again, this is very similar to Unreal, but I'll just run through some quick settings. So the main ones you want to look into are the QMap resolution, the render grid, the cloud steps, and the amortization for updating the lighting. And there you have it. That is how to get your Unity setup going. As always, we're very excited to see what people produce. Feel free to reach out to us on our Slack channel, as that's where most of the discussion we have goes down, as well as on our social medias, which will be linked in the description below. And head on over to our Q&A forum and ask any questions you have there, and we will get back to you as soon as we can.